Hey everyone, Rochelle here with Losing on Keto, and uh, I am going to make for you a carnivore waffle. So what I have here in this um, frying pan is I have a pound of ground beef, 93% lean. So I'm just browning this. And I went with the leaner, a leaner cut so that I'm not going to drain off any fat. So it's less for me to, to worry about for, um, for this uh, use. So I'm going to finish browning this. And then one pound of ground beef and eight eggs are going to make four regular size um, carnivore waffles. So this is a regular size waffle maker that I have that I'm going to make in there. And I learned about this from uh, Maria Emmerich. She has a carnivore cookbook a cookbook that I highly recommend. And so, um, so everybody's heard about chopples on keto, but you know, here's a, here's a dairy free version. Um, you know, no cheese. So like I said, one pound of ground beef and eight eggs. So that's four ounces of cooked ground beef and two eggs with a little salt is going to make a waffle. So let me um, finish browning this and then I'll come back and show you the next step. See you back in a sec. Okay guys, we're ready for the next step. Um, the ground beef is done. So I browned that. So very simple. The, uh, the waffle maker is heated. So I had that heating while I was browning the ground beef. So I'm just gonna take two eggs Crack them into my bowl. Then I'm going to use my pogo stick. To give them a good scramble slash beat. Okay, I'm going to add a little salt. This is Redmond's. Okay, and then I'm going to take a fourth of this and add it to the, the egg mixture. And once again, I didn't drain off the, um, I didn't drain off any of the grease from the from the ground beef. So I'll show you what that looks like. Oops. <laughs> nice going. It spilled a little bit here. Just showing you that. But that's what it looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and pour that into our waffle maker and you know there's no need for any any non-stick spray or anything. So I'm just gonna pour this in. And then I'm gonna spread it out. And you get all the egg mixture out of here. And don't worry if you've got any spots, whatever, as it cooks, it'll fill it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And, uh, and let this cook. And it's okay to check it by opening it and you can close it again to, to get that, that browning that you want. So it usually takes, I don't know, uh, I'd say two to three minutes or so. So um, the eggs are gonna puff up, you're gonna see. Um, you're gonna see that as it, as it cooks. But I also wanted to share with you this recipe of two eggs to the four ounces of ground beef. You could tell perfectly makes a regular sized waffle. So there's no spillage on the sides. 
it, it fits in there perfectly and you're going to see how this comes out perfectly as well. Okay, so let's let this cook and you, and you can see it's starting to puff up there. You see that? So let's let this cook and then we'll come back when it's, when it's ready and I'll show you how to take it out. Okay, be back in a sec. Okay guys, it's ready. I'm not even sure if it's been two minutes, but they cook pretty fast. And you can't overcook them, so, so don't worry about that. You, you can't burn them. So I'm going to get a fork, a clean fork. I don't want the one I was using, obviously, with the, with the mixture beforehand. I don't want cross-contamination. So this lifts out very easily. It's hot, but I wanted to show you that to you. And then I just put that on a cooling rack here. And... And it sticks together very, very, very well. So, um, so very simple recipe, very quick to make. You can, you know, make your ground beef in advance and make these at the time you want to consume them. Or what I do is I make these in, in, in batch, in bulk. So, um, I'll make... Uh, eight of these at a time, which is two pounds of ground beef and 16 eggs. And, um, and then what I do after I make them and I leave them on the cooling rack after they've cooled, I'll take a piece of wax paper and put them between each one and I'll put them in, in uh, freezer safe ba bags and I'll either store them in the refrigerator depending upon when I plan to consume them or I'll store them in the freezer. Um, both work very, very well. Um, let's see. And then how do I use them? Well, I use them as a bread replacement. So if I'm having, uh, say, eggs and bacon and what have you, or even of a side of steak, then I'll put some butter on this and, and just have this as a side. Um, I've also done kind of a breakfast casserole where this was the, the bottom. So, you know, I broke this into fours, crumpled it up as the bottom. And then I uh, took some bacon, cooked bacon and added that in. And then I cracked some um, eggs and baked that. Excuse me, I thought I was going to sneeze. And, uh, and made a breakfast casserole out of that, which is delicious. And of course, I added butter uh, to that when it was, uh, you know, before I baked it. Um, so this is so versatile. So I, this is one of the items that I want to introduce my brother to because it's, it's so delicious. And like I said, just, just having this as a, as a meal in and of itself, this is two eggs and four ounces of ground beef, very filling. And you put a little bit of butter on that and boy, is, is that delicious. So lots of ways to, to make use of this. And, uh, and so it's either a side, a meal itself, or a bread replacement. Um, you know, you can, you can cut this in half and take two of these pieces as your bread, which would be one egg and two, two ounces of ground beef. And then you could put some turkey and cheese on there with bacon, etc. So lots of, lots of ways to, to use this. And so this is a way to do, um, Keto, keto, ketovore, carnivore. Um, so, and this is a, an idea of how to make a, a, a bread replacement without using cheese. Okay, because we know cheese can slow people's um, progress down. So anyways, there you have it. Um, a carnivore waffle. And like I said, um, Maria Emmerich is a, is a great source for items like this, recipes like this. She's got a carnivore cookbook, so if carnivore appeals to you, I strongly recommend picking up that book. Um, she has other recipe books that I have, the PS, PSMF ones, as well as just the, you know, more general keto ones. So, um, so that's another good source for ideas like this, okay? So as always, hope uh, this is something that gives you an idea that you can incorporate into your meal plans. And, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.